for the mementos of the English martyrs and confessors for every day of the year by Henry Sebastian Bowden. November 20th, Lifelong Repentance, Bishop Tunstall of Durham, 1559. Erasmus described him as a man of most exquisite judgment both in Greek and Latin literature, but at the same time of incredible modesty and of sweet and joyful manner. Thomas More, who had been educated with him, declared that the world scarce contained any one of greater learning, prudence, or goodness. Yet he failed where More stood firm, and under Henry VIII took the oath of supremacy, and defended himself to poll on the ground that the Pope's supremacy was not so certain in matters as to die for. Pole replied, Your friends, Fisher and More, were of not so vile a mind as not to know where they died. God send you a livelier spirit in his honor. He atoned, however, for his weakness under Edward VI by his opposition to the new Protestantism and was sent to the tower, restored to his see of Durham under Mary and strengthened and pardoned by the blessing of Christ's vicar. He ardently repaired the havoc caused by schism in his diocese. Summoned by Elizabeth to take the oath, he refused and on his arrival in London, after a week's journey, was deposed and died imprisoned under Clark at the age of 85, November 18, 1559.